Gang. It's Cooking Mama 3 coming at you. We are making a grilled cheese today for lunch because I am starving and Cooking Mama needs to eat. So we are going to make a quick grilled cheese and I will be right back with you after these messages. First, before we start this video, I want to thank today's sponsor, Schnucks. Single American Cheese Slices. I want to thank Schnucks for sponsoring this video. Guys, can't express enough how good Schnucks American Cheese is. Please use it on your bread, use it on your sandwiches, use it on your quesadillas, use it on your chicken and tahitas, use it on your nachos. I don't care what you use it on. Just use Schnucks brand American Cheese Slices. Thank you, Schnucks. Thank you, American Cheese. Some of you guys might be confused about who that guy is in the very beginning part of that video. That's Food Critic. And I'm calling out Food Critic right now because you know what? Food Critic Food Critic gets handed all these little food items from all these fast food restaurants. Just gets handed it to them while I have to make my own food. So you know what, Food Critic? I challenge you. Make your own food for once. Do a review on that. And then come back at me, please. All right, guys, so first and foremost, I'm going to show you guys the ingredients I'm using today for the uh, grilled cheese. I'm using American cheese, the Schnucks brand, of course. I'm using Land Lakes butter with canola oil, a half loaf butter white, half loaf bread. Everybody say half loaf in the comments, please. And now I'm using this beautiful, beautiful red stainless steel pan. We are using this. This is on the cabinet. We're going to use it. We're going to uh, get it done. Here we go. All right. So first and foremost, I don't know about you guys, but I always start with the butter. So we're going to do that. Here we go. So I'm going to just get, I use this real nice stainless steel knife, right? Just get a little dollop on there. Just spread real nice in the middle, like so. And the bread can fall apart, so be careful with that. But you don't need to spread too too aggressively. Just spread real nice, real nice. And if you see that, real nice in the middle there. Next, we got to do the other slice, right? Because we want to have that bottom portion, and we want to have that top portion. Real nice and buttered. The next thing I do is I put the American cheese on. I'm going to flip this portion, right? Right at the bottom, like so, on this pan. That gets the bottom of the bread real nice and crisp, real nice and done. Put the cheese on, and I use two slices of cheese. Hold up, I can't get it. The cheese is stuck. There we go. I use two slices of cheese. Let me know how many slices of cheese you guys use for a grilled cheese. And then what I do is I throw this top portion on top of that. And we're going to cook that for about 30 seconds, the bottom portion, and then we're going to flip it and cook this piece, which will not then be at the bottom. So stay tuned for that. The next part can be a little tricky for some. This is the part where you're going to have to turn on the front burners. And I'm going to show you how I turn on my front burners. So we got this front one right here. We're going to turn that on until it clicks, right? Right? And then we're going to turn it down just a notch because we don't want it too high. We're just going to turn it down just a notch. Perfect. And we're going to let that cook for just a little. Get that bottom portion real, real nice and done. And then we're going to flip it and get that top portion done. Here we go. Now I'm going to flip it. As you can see, it's not really that done. But we're going to do it halfway, and we're going to get that bottom portion real nice and done before we flip it again. Here we go. Let's see how that bottom portion looks. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let's get a zoom in. mouthwatering. Ladies and gentlemen, we have perfected a grilled cheese. Cooking Mama is back at her best. One of my favorite parts is actually cutting in to the grilled cheese. Let me know how you guys cut your grilled cheese. I like to do it in triangles. However, I also do it in squares sometimes. I cut down the middle and then I cut across. Let me know how you cut your grilled cheese. No! 
The transportation from the pan to the plate is sometimes that of a struggle. But here I am to tell you, I have a solution. And you ask, what is that solution, Cooking Mama? Let me tell you. It's taking a shot. For this shot in particular, I'm going to be using a New Orleans one-of-a-kind shot glass given to me by one of my subscribers, Joe Reardon. And I want to thank Joe Reardon for this shot glass. Thank you, Joe. So as you guys saw, I'm going to take a shot of Burnett's Cherry. Let me know how you guys like Burnett's Cherry. I'm a fan. Cooking Mama likes Burnett's Cherry. And uh, let me know how you guys like it. Let me know what kind of shots you take. Let me know if we should take shots more in the videos. Give me some feedback, please. Cook him. Oh, cook him, mama. So if you ever drop your grilled cheese, transferring it from the pan to the plate. Pan. Plate. Take a shot. So, like I said, next we're going to do the cutting of the grilled cheese. Again, be careful when working with knives. This one in particular, very sharp. Very sharp. So, like I said, I like cutting it in triangles, but for today's video, I'm going to cut in squares. So we're going to go down the middle. Hear that crisp, that tenderness, that real nice breaded grilled cheese, melted, oozing cheese galore. Ooey, gooey, deliciousness, cooking mama, grilled cheese, ladies and gentlemen. 7-6. Seven, 7-6. Six. Seven, six. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes Cookie Mama episode 3. I will be back. I'm thinking, like, what day of the week works best for you guys? I'm thinking I can try. I can try and do a video every week, especially during these coronavirus times. Um, because I do find myself having a little bit more free time, especially with the stay-at-home order. But that's being lifted on Monday. So I need to figure out um, what day works best for you guys for videos. I'm thinking Thursdays. Thursdays been working out. Um, I could also do Fridays. I can also do Mon... Uh, no, not Mondays. Not Mondays. Uh, Tuesdays, Wednesdays? One of those days? I think we're going to do one video a week, though. Let me know what day you want me to do videos. And also, let me know what you want me to cook next. Leave a like. Leave a sub. Drop a comment. Let me know how you like the video. And I will talk to you guys soon. Let's get cooking!